How y'all doing out there? Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Easy Work Boxing, man. About to hit you everywhere, but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Mr. Gary Russell Jr., nigga, you making it very hard to be a fan of yours. I've been a fan of yours. I, I, I used to like you to mean. I thought you was a stand-up dude. You know, but you, you you getting out of hand. You be doing a lot of stuff that's unnecessary instead of fighting. You know, you, you talk about punching people in their face in barber shops. You're walking up to Chris Cole, but talking about you'll smack him, and you're talking about your shoulder injured. You're calling out people with your shoulder injured, but you're saying it's feeling good now. I bet you ain't feeling feel good when I start naming some of these fighters. you making it hard for people to be your fan. You fight every six years, and every time we hear you, it's all cow. But, hey, since you want to go out to Tank, I don't know if you're going to stay at 126 or you're going to move to 130 or you're going to go to 135, whatever. But if you want to go ahead and tank somebody who could, all, who could make 140, then you could go and fight some other people. Let me go, let me go down the line and think of watch some people you can go and fight. Uh, let, me, let me start from the lower weights, okay? Let me start down here. One big name, I'm sure, I'm sure when it comes to this name, you're going to sit up and say your shoulder ain't ready. Why don't you fight Shakur Steves? He ain't got nobody to fight right now. If you're willing to move up to go up to 135 and fight Tank or 140 to fight Tank, then you can fight Shakur Stevenson. You can be, yeah, you can fight Shakur, even though I, I know what's going to happen with that. I know what's going to happen to that. See, this is the thing we y'all talking about, him chasing Tank, him fighting Tank. Y'all got to look at it like this. I know for a fact Tank fought Isaac Cruz with one hand. I know for a fact. Still came out victorious. Gary Russell fought with one arm against um, Maceo. Lost. Gary Russell, to me, don't have the knockout power that Tank have. Tank gonna knock you out, bro. Tank is going to knock Gary Russell out if they ever fight. But I don't understand why you keep chasing him when there's so many names out here. Uh, the guy who beat the guy that beat you. But we see, we tired of these, these Latino and Mexican opponents from you Gary Russell Jr. You keep saying, don't nobody want to fight you. Well, move up. Move up. Challenge yourself. Go make the bigger fights. Move up to 130. Fight uh, Oscar Valdez. Fight Novarati. Rob Conseco. I'd like to see how you do against Rob Conseco. Y'all who Shakur just fought. Chris Cole, but I think you'll beat Chris Cole. But I'll be honest with you. I think you'll whoop Chris Cole. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's names over here. Shakur. That's one somebody who ain't got to fight, but I'm sure that shoulder going to, or that shoulder ain't going to be ready. Oh, you got Jermaine Ortiz at 135. It's a uh, Naka If you're willing to fight, if you're willing to fight Tank, then you could fight a 135-pounder, 130-pounder. Isaac Cruz, Cambosis Jr. Come on now. Come on now. You could stop calling out Tank. And y'all know I love, I would love to see Tank in a challenging fight, but to me, going against Gary Russell Jr. ain't challenging. No, it's not challenging at all. Y'all just looking at hand speed. Gary Russell ain't got the power to compete with Tank. Tank will knock Gary Russell out. And y'all know I'm not a Tank fan like that as far as, you know, just boosting him up for no reason, saying he'll knock somebody, but he'll knock Gary Russell out. Gary Russell... Call Shakur. Shakur ain't got nobody to fight. Rob can take you a whole list of fighters down from two divisions since you want to call that tank that you can pick out and fight. Whole bunch of them. Please leave Tank alone. It don't make sense that you keep chasing Tank for all these years. You ain't gave Tank a reason to even step in the ring with you. We see you every two years and then... Throughout that two years, you come and walking up to people saying who you going to punch in their face and you're bringing up old stuff that happened in, in amateur years and this year. And, and No, bro, get in the ring, Gary. Show us them fast hands. Beat somebody. We tired of the cap. I'm just, I'm just going to tell you, we are tired of the cap. It's time to show and prove. Get one of them big names up there. Holler at, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure if you was to challenge Shakur Stevenson, he'll come at you. I'm sure. But, you know, that's all I want to say. I, you know, tired of Gary Russell Jr. doing all this. There's some fighters out there to fight Gary. 
it's a fight. Tank ain't gonna fight you yet. Tank got other issues. Tank need to. Tank gotta fight people too. Y'all, y'all in the same boat. Y'all in the same boat. Um, him picking you, I wouldn't want to see. I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't want to see Tank pick you. No, I think Tank gonna knock you out. Just to be real with you, I don't, I don't want to see him pick you. No. And um, then when you lose the tank or something, we're gonna have a whole bunch of weight issues, excuse shoulder excuses and stuff like that. Don't nobody want to hear that gear. That's the same thing you did against Lomachenko. You lost Lomachenko, but you ain't stepped up to the plate and tried to fight Lomachenko yet. Yet. I don't know if you have, and Loma said it now, but you still lost the first fight. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Stop chasing that man. Find somebody else to fight. Fight Shakur. 